Hello, Osman. How are you? Hey, good evening. Good evening. Did you have a good day today, Osman? Hey. What? Can you repeat, please? Did you have a good day today? Yeah, yes, I have. Yes, I have. My day was nice, always stressful, but eh, no, not different. No, nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing days. different. But the only, uh, I feel, I feel, I feel fine. Yes, I feel fine this day. Ah, okay, perfect. Yes. Uh, how, are you? how was your day? Pretty good, I think. Um, a little. A little busy, uh, tiring, but it's good. It's good that it's different. I think it's better when your day is different. You feel more activities. The, do you work in your home or other place? I, I work both. I work in my home and I work in another place. So I, I always, uh, I always... Always, always uh, teaching? Um, sometimes teaching. So uh, Yes, I, I teach also, but also teaching, I... Teaching. Uh -huh. I teach in the mornings, but also I am uh, a coordinator. So I have to organize programs and give trainings. And then I have to supervise people. So always is you do it. Hmm? Okay, interesting. Do you live in San Salvador? Yes, actually, I live in Santa Tecla. Ah, Santa Tecla. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. interesting. A libertad, but, but it's fairly close. Yes, very close, very mm -hmm. close. Okay. Well, yeah. my, uh, my job is uh, in a fac close, close factory. Close factory? Close factory, yes. Hey, San Juan Opico. In, Salvador, in Salvador is Maquila. <laughs> yes, yes, in San Juan Opico. Uh, near, near there, uh, in Zona Franca American Park. I imagine, I imagine. Always is in those areas that the people say, ah, the factories. <laughs> Yeah, the factory, mm -hmm. but it's a job interesting, but uh, very very stressful. Depend when you to uh, start Used to when you used to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Only some days are are just tiring. It's it's not stressful. It's normal routine, but these days that yes. you. You finish, you say, I know, I want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Miguel Cisco. I see Good Miguel evening. Cisco. Yeah, Miguel. My friend, you? Cisco. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> What's your day? Thanks. Good, good. Thanks. Cisco, what when, when, you? listen to me, when we finish this, this class, not this class, this program, I'm going to say, who is Miguel Cisco? <laughs> because I never, <laughs> never see, see, see your face. Uh huh. Oh, wait, he's, he's scared, huh? Yes, eh? One of these days, I'm going to. Who is Miguel, Miguel oh, Cisco? Who is? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh huh. The idea. No problem, Miguel. No problem. No problem. No problem. Todo uh bromeando. Uh huh. No, no, es que por la renta no vaya a ser, dice. Más esa hora para el teacher, no, hombre, peligroso. Ajá, ajá. Dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous. Hi, Carla. ¿Cómo está todo? Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good, good. We were just talking. Happy. We're happy. Yes. Talking really about... Happy. Teams, I don't know. Tema de, de chicos, quizá, vea. No, uh, no, 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 near no, near near no, 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 Mm -hmm. And you're living in San Salvador. Osman? Osman? But no, um, no, I live 
near your city, <laughs> Congo. Yes, really. Remember, remember. Yes, I, yes. I told you that. I told you that. Every day travel. Yes, yes. <laughs> A little far, huh? Very far. Very uh, far. I, when 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 I drive my car to Santana City, I. ¿Cómo se dice? Yo hago tanto tiempo. ¿Cómo se dice? I take. I, I take uh, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 oh, minutes. It's very, it's very close to Santana City. It's very, yes. Very fast. In, in, in car, it is very fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you go from El Congo to San Juan Opico every day? Every day. Uh, Congo, oh, oh, from Congo to Sana, to Sana Free Sun American Park, uh -huh. take uh, 12, 12 minutes. 15 it's minutes. Very near. It's 15 very close. Minutes. Yeah. I thought it was farther. Yes, I am happy uh, for because uh, never, almost, almost, always, never take traffic. Yes, because in this area is is very little. Yes. The the cars, yeah, because always go to. Yes. Normally, from example, from Lourdes to Santa Tecla, or yes. from La Libertad to uh, San Salvador, mm -hmm. these are the areas with a lot of traffic. It is horrible. Mm -hmm. Yes. In in my, in my case, there is not there is not problem with uh, with the traffic. Okay. It's good. It's good for the gasoline. <laughs> yes. In this moment, yes. <laughs> this moment, yeah. it's very expensive right now. Yes. Okay. Well, I, hey, exactly. Hey, but in San Juan Opico, a lot of people in the bicycles. <laughs> really? A lot of people in the bicycles in San Juan Opico. Oh. San Luis Palta. In San Luis Palta too. Just yes. if you go, if you go to San Juan Opico, and you see the the factories, for example, Haynes brand, or uh, the other the other brands, and you look in front, they have more bicycles than cars. In, really. Uh, Yes, hey, this, this is good. They have a lot of places for bicycles. Yeah, this is good. Cecilia? Hi. No, no. Oh, Pico is my um, natal city. Ah, okay. But San Juan Pico, I feel it's very hot, or no? It's very hot. hot uh, no. Oh, it's like San Salvador. No, it's like in San Salvador. The world. Nah, it's like no. it's like San Miguel. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like San Salvador. Oh, okay. uh, I was born there, but I never lived there. Just born in a house. Oh, just born. You you never live in yes. San Juan Pico. No, but my family um long time ago lived there okay okay good all right guys so what we're going to do is we're going to take a moment and we're going to get to know each other a little bit more where are you from what do you do your family now i have no family in San Paulo. Uh -huh. where did you grow up my husband okay. is from San Juan Pico too all right so now that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk with our partners and get to know more about our partners and ask the questions for uh, information about where they grow up, where did they go to high school, the, the different things about your partners, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Jansi, there you go.
the low garden, we are in our groups just talking about our childhood. Okay. Okay. Hello, Laura. We're in groups talking about our childhood. Okay, Angelica? In the groups talking about the childhood. Maybelline, we're in the groups talking about our childhood. Hey, Maria Marta, we're in our groups talking about our childhood.
María Marta, ¿yo qué? Problemas con el, con el micrófono. Ok, te voy a mandar al otro grupo entonces, otra vez eso ayuda. Ok. Okay, now we had a chance to talk to our partners and discover a little bit about our partners. Let's find out. Let's see. Eugenia, what did you learn about your partners? Okay, I was with uh, with Maybelline and with uh, <laughs> and with Carla. <laughs> So Carla told me that she's she live in Santana. She's from Santana all the time in Santana, and she works in Santana too. Uh, she works in a call center. She says it's a extra full work, but uh, she's happy. She like it, so it's good for her. <laughs> mm, she's a uh, 41 years old. I'm a little older. <laughs> and well, and you were with Babeling too. So I don't know if okay. I uh, can say about Babeling or. No, 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 it's okay. That's good. Carla, tell us about Maybelline. Okay. Uh, Maybelline living in uh, uh, San Vicente. <laughs> she is studying in San Vicente and she's very younger. Like, yes. For us. <laughs> And, Very young. Yes, and Eugenia and me um, <laughs> are in our forties. Yeah, in the forties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Eugenia, uh, she's from um, Usulután, and uh, now uh, she lives in San Bartolo. Eugenia, and she works in house. Uh, Eugenia. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And San Bartolo? Yes. San Bartolo. Okay. Okay. Near Vifrio? Yes, very near. Okay. I know, I know. And Maybelline is from San Vicente, San Vicente, or uh, another place in, in San Vicente? Yes, yeah, San Vicente, San Vicente. Okay. All right. And tell us, Carla, how, how old is Maybelline? <laughs> She's 20, 21 or 22. 22. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm crying for. For half, half the age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> en Eugenia tú. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But Eugenia wants. <laughs> okay, good, good. Osman, tell me about your partner. Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, his name is uh, July and Jensi. Uh, I remember <laughs> a few things, but, but uh, uh, July lives in San Vicente. I, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> always, I confuse, always. It's okay. No, teacher, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know why. Always I confuse uh, San Vicente, Usulután, and San Miguel. I don't know why, but uh, I, 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 I believe is uh, cities uh, near. I don't. I don't know. Uh, but uh, July, pref, uh, July. Practice uh, the port with uh, the port with with her friends with his uh, friends. free time. Um, what else? Ah, uh, 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 July told me uh, like likes uh, eat fish, uh, a lot of beer too. <laughs> no, 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 that is no. O only milk, only milk, only, only milk, only milk, only uh -huh. milk and water, only milk and okay. water. <laughs> Jensi lives in where do you live, Jensi? <laughs> I don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, Usulután, okay, Usulután? <laughs> yeah. yes, uh, uh, bah, that, that's all, that's all. No problem, no problem. Good, good, Osman. All right. Good. Okay. Good job. So that's the idea. We get to know a little bit about our partners and find out. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to our groups and we're going to talk about your favorite food. What was your favorite food when you were a child? What did you like? Did you like pizza? Did you like pupusas? Did you like, I don't know. What was your favorite food? And then we're going to review how do we tell the instructions to prepare the food. Remember yesterday we learned some words for preparing food. What is the words that we use to tell the sequence? First. 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 And next. Then next. 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 And then next. next. Finally. After, after that. that. After, after that. that. Exactly. After that. Good. Remember only first and finally you cannot no change. change. Exactly. The others, no problem. Okay, so now we're going to go with our partners and say, ah, for example, we're going to look for the typical food. Ex uh, how do we say minuta? How do we say minuta in English? Minuta, no, I don't know. <laughs> Mix ice. <laughs> how do we say uh, minuta? Oh. Correct, snow cones, excellent. Snow Can cones. you repeat? How we say? Snow cones. No, con, con on here. Yes, con. exactly. No, con. Uh -huh. can, you, can you write? Just do. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes, yes. Snow cones. Now, why? Because in the US, the minutas are not in a cup. They're not in the cup. They are in a cone, like for water in the office. Like the water in the office, only that the, the cone yes. is bigger. Is yeah. bigger and is the material stronger, but it's like paper, the cone. Paper cone. Are we yes, saying that? Like a paper cone. Exactly. That's why the name snow cones. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you're mm -hmm. going to talk about whatever food, whatever you like, and we're going to practice describing how to prepare that food. First, then, next, after that, following, then, and then there, finally. Okay. Okay. Hey, excellent. How do you say churros? Churros, what churros? <laughs> churros like, like uh, uh, burritos, quesillo. Yes, yes. Yes, those churros are called potato chips. Potato okay. chips. Mm -hmm. Potato chips. ¿Y cómo se dirá chilate? I don't know chilate. Don't translate. Don't, 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 don't translate, right? Mm-hmm. 
it's like pupusas. Pupusas is pupusa in English and Spanish. I don't know, chilate is a drink or what? Yes. Like uh, atoll, I don't know, how do you say okay. atoll? Oh, I don't know chilate, I never, I never seen. No, teacher, you like are- Like nuegado, you know chilate, teacher. Oh, teacher, never what about you? Wow, it's a typical food. Nuegados, yes, it's a typical food. Also, Valorian drink chilate. Ah, no, en serio, ahorita lo tengo que buscar. Chuco, chuco. Al Jus Salvadorian, teacher. Sí, <laughs> no, 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 Yes, never, never in my life I had chilate, never tried. No puedo decir. Chuco, teacher. De hecho, no, 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 ni sabía que era comida, pensé que era, pensé que era comida, no bebida. Ok. You got money, right? No, I don't know chilates. If you, if, you, if you eat nuegado, you always drink chilate? Never. Yes. It's a couple. It's a couple. It's a couple. Torrejas? Yeah. Ah, torrejas. Y nunca, nunca Delicious. me he chilate. Torrejas no, with a cup of coffee. No, right. No. Wow, yes. Nunca. Never, Do never. Do you like coffee like. with canela? Coffee with cinnamon. It's very teacher? delicious. Yes. Teacher, where are you from? It's very yes. delicious. Teacher, and do you know chuco, atol chuco? I don't like chuco. I don't chuco. like atol chuco. It's delicious. No. no. With beans. With spicy. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. En pan francés. Yes. No. Hasta dito, mm, hasta dito. Exacto. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Exactly. Uh, yes. You know. No, teacher. Yeah. Teacher, you have, you have problem, teacher. You have problem. Very have problem, problem, teacher. <laughs> have problem with a typical food. food. Yes, yes. <laughs> no. Never try, but now it's okay. No problem. Then now we're going to go with our partners and teacher, we're going to talk about sorry. Yes. How do you say Chaco Bananos? Mm -hmm. It's very long because it doesn't exist, so it's chocolate covered uh, bananas. <laughs> chocolate covered bananas. And charamusco. Charamuscas are frozen drinks. Exactly. Uh huh. <laughs> the frozen uh, soft or the frozen uh, fruit mm -hmm. drink, for example, because that's what it charamusca is. Or you can prepare. You have to. Eat. When they don't exist the word, the only way is explain. Okay. Or use the word. For example, chow mein. Chow mein is not Spanish. It's Chinese, but you this is the name. The or do you say flan, mister? Flan is flan. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go with our partner. I think, I think the name is not important. The important is the, um, the ingredient. Recipe. Ingredient. Recipe. The recipe. recipe. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so now we, with our partners, we try one more time. Let's see. Okay. You pick up food, okay? Any food. food that you want. The important is explain how to prepare, how to make it. When you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The typical food when you were a child that you like, the food that you like now, all the food is okay. 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 You okay, Herson?
okay. It's okay, the instructions, how to tell the food, how to describe the recipe. Teacher, um, I have a question. Paletas, uh, it's popsicle. Correct, popsicles. Pero, um, but uh, ice cream, o sea, no son paletas de dulce, sino que paletas heladas. O sea, Correct. Popsicle. Correct. And Paleta. yuca, yuca. Yuca is yuca. Okay. Mm -hmm. En I sobrecito. <laughs> o sea, para decir, digamos, que uno va a poner un sobre de algo, la palabra, ¿cómo? O sea, ay, ¿cómo le explico? No sé. En, el flan, vaya, el flan viene en sobres. Ah, en bags. Mm -hmm. In bag. In bags. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. I have a question, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, Maria. Uh, what is the term for los cocteles de, de, de camarón, de conchas, ceviche? ¿Cuál sería el término uh, como general? Yes. No, no, no. There, there, you have specific ones. For example, shrimp cocktails, clam cocktails, ah, okay. oyster cocktails. cocktails. Yes. Too. Yes, okay. cocktails. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Good. So we have our ideas. We're reviewing a little bit. We're good. Now we're going to continue with today's unit. Today we begin unit five. It's going to be very easy, this unit, because it's a topic that is very common that we use all the time. Who would like to read? Me, teacher. Thank you, Osman. Okay. Uh, the, give me one second, please. Okay. I'm going to order my screen. Okay. The future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. English teach young sons explains this to different ways, uh, ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. Formula? I don't know. Formula? Yes. As a uh, ask and answer question using going to and we're as auxiliary verbs and practice discussion your future plans. For example, an upcoming vacation holidays with family, or even your plans for later in the, in the day. Okay, good. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the video, okay? okay. The difference between going to and will. We use both of them, right? But we use here going to for verbs, for plans you've decided on. And we use will for possible plans before you made the decision. But in the video, they're going to explain more to us. One is for plans, the other is for possible. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? 
Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present the structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to... Okay, so now that we listen to the first part, that story, we're going to tell what you understand. What are they talking about? What are the plans? Where are they going to go? What happens? Okay, so listen one more time. We listen again and get information. Write the information about it. Where are they going? What are the plans? What is the activities? Why they are doing it together? Okay, who are they? All of that information, okay? All of the necessary information to explain the conversation. So listen one more time and let's answer those questions. Take notes. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay in my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me... Okay. So now, quickly, we're going to go with our partners and we're going to summarize it. What did you understand? What was the idea, the activities? And only two minutes, only two minutes, and we summarize with our partners all the information.
Okay, quickly, enough time. Tell me, what are they doing? What are the activities? Why are they doing those activities? Surfing Going to the fishing? beach and fishing the, on, Mon on Monday fishing. Okay, going to the beach, surfing, fishing. fishing. And why, how much time do they have? How much time is their vacation? Two, two weeks, weeks off. off. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. Two weeks off, exactly. And where are they going to sleep? They, they have their own house. How in, the house. Beach. Beach. In, the in the uncle's house. In the uncle's house at the beach. In the uncle's house at the beach. Very good. Because, because it has 20 rooms. It's very I, big. It's big, right? Yeah. Very big. Very big. <laughs> very big. Mm -hmm. Good. So in the listening, we heard I'm going to, we will, we heard different future forms. In this moment, let's watch the video and see what is the difference. What is the difference between these future forms? Going, going is for plan. Yes, we're going to see here. Sure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now, for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans, or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job so it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans in order to express these ideas you're going to use be going to to express that so for example i'm going to take vacations next week i'm going to go to france that's just a quick example there um, you're almost sure that that event will happen on the other hand let's say that you're gonna uh, you want to take vacation but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month. But I don't know. I haven't bought the tickets. I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not. And so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on then we're going to use these expressions i guess i'll just um stay home Th these are the examples here in the book but um, going back to our example about vacations i guess i'll travel but i'm not sure where uh, maybe i'll go somewhere in, in europe i probably will go somewhere in europe and that's i mean those are just my examples on on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you were thinking... Okay, science takes a long time to explain, but the idea that he's trying to give us is that there are two functions for the future. That's function number one is you plan, you have an idea, you have the, the things that you're doing to do that, that is going to, that is the plan. The second one is you are not sure, you say maybe, or I'm not sure, I don't know, or uh, for this, we're going to use will. If you see the two questions, the same, going to, right? But your answer can be will or going to. It's not necessary always have to answer going to and going to. You can answer with will or, um, or you can answer with going to. The difference, one more time, here is planned. Will, not planned, is the moment in the decision in the moment or when you are unsure and always we use the idea with the verbs in the present let me put this one right here. and so that's what i want you to notice here right so well i'm going to stay home for the weekend okay so here when you have going to is planned activity this is what you have when you have maybe i guess i think i ah for all of these we use will not going to it's okay 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 
Okay, now we're going to go into our groups and we're going to talk about Saturday, Sunday, tomorrow. What are you going to do, partner? You can space specific. What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do Saturday? What are you going to do Sunday? What are you going to do this weekend? What are you going to do in the morning? Not only what are you going to, also you can make more questions. Oh, my partner says, I'm going to go to the beach. Oh, interesting. What beach are you going to go to? Oh, who are you going to go to the beach with? The idea is we practice, 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 WH questions and going to for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go. Remember, will, I don't know. Going to, yes. I know and I plan for these activities. Sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem. I put you again, it's okay. Sometimes it's the internet or the program.
Hit. Bless you. Thank you, Gabi. Ya sabe. <laughs> All right. So it's okay how to use going to and will. Yes. Going to for plans. Yes. Will for will for ideas. N uncertain. Not sure. Mister, how do you say encerrado? Closed in. Close in. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Thank. All right. Well, guys, that is it for today. I hope the plans for your weekend, you can enjoy, relax, go to the beach or whatever you want to do. And we continue on Monday. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. Bye. You. Bye. 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 Bye.